Hi, welcome to ARE Basics. The topic for today's video is weather barrier versus air barrier versus vapor barrier. So, what's the difference? A weather barrier. On an assembly without a weather barrier, rain and moisture seeps through the envelope and lead to various issues such as rot and mold. Weather barrier when applied on an exterior envelope keeps the water outside, thus keeping the walls and interiors dry, like a rain jacket. Outside air has a tendency to drift in through the seams of a building envelope. That unconditioned air brings moisture and exterior heat or cold inside the space, which is not desirable as it hampers the energy efficiency of the building and deteriorates its performance. The air barrier can stop the air migration from the outside to the inside and vice versa. Air barrier is materially very similar to weather barrier, but the focus is on the air tightness. To understand vapor barrier, we have to understand the concept of vapor diffusion. Vapor diffusion is the movement of water molecules from high density to low density like how you can smell a perfume from a distance. Hot air can hold more moisture in them and as a result has high vapor density. Cold air on the other hand has low threshold to hold moisture which means low vapor density. This difference in densities causes vapor diffusion where water vapor permeates through the building envelope from hot side towards the cold side. As the water vapor migrates towards the colder area, water vapor begins to convert into water droplets as a result of condensation. This condensation when it takes place inside the building envelope and is unable to dry itself causes issues such as rot and mold. The vapor barrier stops the vapor diffusion and hence stops the migration of moisture through the envelope. Here are some questions that you can look up for a follow-up study. It should help you in understanding these basics better. I hope you liked this animation video. Thanks for watching.